Hello and welcome to our school bag workout where all you're going to need is your school bag. We're going to be doing upper body and lower body exercises. We're going to be doing two rounds of 10 reps or 20 seconds of some of the exercises. Now you can pick and choose how heavy or light you want the bag by adding or taking away things like your books. Okay, so let's build some strength and let's get ready to go. So the first exercise is squats. And what you're going to do is that you can either have your bag in front of you, holding it by the handles, or you can actually wear your bag instead. Okay, so I'm going to do this. So what you need to do with your legs is have them open, hip to shoulder width apart, okay? And your arms either behind your head or in front of you, whatever you prefer. And all you're gonna simply do is lower yourself down so your legs are in line with the floor and stand back up like this, okay? Right, so we're going to go for 10 of these. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one, and go. And one. And two, good stuff, so breathe in as you go down and breathe out as you come up, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, one more, and ten. Okay, so with our active rest, you're going to just keep moving, but we're going to do three deep breaths, okay? And then we're gonna go again, okay? So you ready? That's one. That's two. That's three, right, we're ready to go again. Again, having to have your legs hip to shoulder width apart, arms out in front of you or behind your head, okay? Make sure you've got a nice straight back and we're lowering ourselves down. One. Two, good stuff, keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Right stuff, okay. So the active rest. And that big deep breath now. Three of these. One, two, and three. Good stuff. Next, we have push ups. So, what you're going to do with your school bag is put it on your back, and you may need a cushion on the floor because you're going to do this on your knees, okay? So, your setup is have your knees on the cushion like this, okay? And you're going to have your arms out shoulder width apart or just past shoulder width apart in front of you, okay? And all you're going to do is lower yourself down to the ground and back up, okay? Keeping that back nice and straight, down and up. Now, also if you want to, you can come up onto your toes and do the same thing as long as that your hips aren't high like this and you've got a flat back, okay? So let's go for 10 of these, whichever way you want to do it. Let's go. One, two, breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Fantastic. Okay, that's it to be four with our active rest. We're just kind of keeping ourselves moving as well as breathing. Three big deep breaths. Let's go. That's one. That's two. And Three, that's it. Okay, right, are we ready to go again? So, hands in front of you, pass shoulder width apart, okay? Whether you're on your knees, have it slightly behind your hips, and then 
you're going to go down, okay? Or if you're going to go up onto your toes, you can do the same thing, or you can do that, okay? Let's go. One. Two. Three, keep going, let's go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10, great, okay. So that active rest, where we're taking three deep breaths. One, two, and three, good job. So next we have side to side bag steps. You're going to need your school bag on your back like this, and you're going to need to start on one side of the room. Have your legs shoulder width apart because you're going to be shuffling side to side, okay? But when you shuffle side to side, I want you to touch your opposite toe with your hand. So if it's your right hand, you'll touch your left toe. If it's your left hand, you'll touch your right toe, okay? So we're gonna go for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Good, that's it, shuffle side to side, touch that opposite toe. Okay, we've got 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good stuff, okay, active rest. Three big breaths that we're going to need to do now, okay? So, that's one. That's two, good. And three, okay, let's get ourselves set and ready to go. In three, two, one, and go. Shuffle side to side. Touch the opposite toe, keeping that backpack on your back. Good. Touch down. 10 seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay. Active rest. Three big breaths. Let's go. And one. And two. And three. Fantastic. Next, we have the bicep curls where we're going to be working your biceps. Okay. And with your school bag now, you can hold it one or two ways. The first is by holding the top handle with both hands, if you can get your both hands fitting through it and starting in this position. Or you can just hold the actual handles itself, starting in the same position. So with that, you have your legs closed together and your elbows by your ribs and your back's nice and straight. And you're going to look forward and curl your bag up towards you and back down but we don't want the elbows coming off like this okay we want to make sure that they're stuck by your body side and you're moving your forearm only okay so let's go for 10 of these three two one and go so it's one two to so breathe in breathe out now three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Fantastic. Okay, so active rest, three big rest. One, two, and three. Now, if that was too light, you can add more things into your bag to make it more heavy, or if it was too heavy, take some stuff out to make it a bit lighter for you, okay? Right, let's go for the second round of these. Same position as before, elbows tight to your body, having your legs closed together, heads forward, back straight, and curl up and go. One, two, 
three, let's go. Four, breathe in, and five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Okay, so our active rest, three big breaths. One, two, last one, three, great stuff. Next, we have lunges, and this is what you're going to need to do. So, your bag is on your back like this, okay? And you're going to have one leg stepping forward, okay? So you've got a gap in between both legs, and you're going to lower yourself down like this, now, when you're lowering yourself down, you want a right angle on this leg and a right angle on the back leg too, okay? And then you're going to come up and step back and then do the same thing with your other leg. Now, also, keep your core nice and tight and your hands out in front of you so it stops you from wobbling over, okay? So we're going to go for 10 of these with our active rest, right? Get ourselves set then. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, good stuff. Four, it's all about control. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Fantastic, okay. Active reps now with our three breaths. One, two, and three. Okay, let's get ourselves set and ready to go again. Bags on our back, and we're going to step forward. Ten of these. Let's go. One, two, three. Keep that core nice and tight now. Four, arms out in front of you. Five, try and get that right angle if you can. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, and ten. Good. Okay, active rest now. And three breaths. One. Two, and three. So next we have bag rows. And what this is, is going to work your middle of your back, okay? So you're going to start with your legs closed together and your chest nice and upright and your back up as well. And you're going to hinge from your hips, keeping it straight in your back and your bag pack in front of you, holding this with the handles, okay? And all you're going to do is pull this up towards you, okay, by your stomach or your chest, and then bring it back down, okay? So let's go for 10 of these. One, oh, sorry. two, three, four, breathe in, breathe out as you pull up, five, Six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great stuff. Okay, so active rest now with our three big breaths. One, two, and three. Okay, let's reposition ourselves again. So legs closed together, chest up nice and high, back nice and straight, hinge forward, holding it in front of you, pull towards you, and one, and two, good, and three. We might need to bend our knees slightly, and four, good, and five, and six, pulling up towards you, getting that squeeze on your back. 
seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Brilliant. Okay, and the active rest now. Three big breaths. One, two, and three. Brilliant. So the final exercise that we're going to do is bag bear crawls, okay? So let's have the bag on our back and you're going to have your hands in front of you with one leg slightly in front of the other, okay? And you're going to have your hips nice and high because we're going to be moving forward and crawling backwards for 20 seconds, okay? So keep our hips nice and high, let's go. So we're crawling forward and then we're crawling backwards. Move the opposite arm with the opposite leg, and we're going forward. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Brilliant. Okay, so we're moving and keeping ourselves active. Rest with three breaths. That's two. And that's three, okay, we're ready to go again. Hands out in front of you, one leg behind the other, okay? And we're going to move forward and then backwards, all right? Three, two, one, and go. There we go, so keeping our hips nice and high, moving opposite arm to opposite leg, like this. 10 seconds, there we go. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay. Active rest now. One, two, and three. Great stuff. So, thank you for taking part in our school bag workout. I hope you enjoyed it indeed. What's cool about this is that you can do exercises and still keep active by using your school bag. So whether you're about to leave out to go to school or you're studying from home, you can do the full workout or some of the exercises before you start, okay? And as I said to you at the start of the video, you can pick and choose how heavy or light you want your bag for these exercises. So thank you once again and keep active at home.